working on the pineapple tote, uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do is press it because there was probably a lot of wrinkles when it came out of that bag. So first thing, get it nice and smooth, and then we're gonna add some wrinkles. So first thing that you wanna do is fold that in half on the long side. So we're gonna make that a hot dog fold. And then once we have those edges lined up, you're going to take a ruler and you are going to fold seven inches down. So whichever ruler that you have, once I had that kind of in place, I put that back up on top and checked for that seven inch marking. And then I only ironed in the corner so that I didn't have a ton of lines everywhere else so that it was bothering me while I was stitching. And then I pressed so that I have a nice clear marking right in that center point. And then you're going to reopen once you have that in place. So I have a nice crosshair right there. And we're going to take one of our snowman stickers and we're going to place that. It is very important that we place it as straight as absolutely possible on there. If we get this crooked, our design is going to be crooked. So it's very important that we're placing this exactly on those lines. So all four points of your sticker should be lining up with the four points of your crosshair. Once you have that in place, you're going to go ahead and press that so that it doesn't wiggle around. They have a pretty good amount of sticky. Actually, the first time you use them, you might wanna kind of get them a little less tacky because they do tend to stick extremely well. So again, we're gonna fold in half hot dog and then a seven inches down from the top of the tote. We are going to hoop with our no-show mesh. So we have a single layer of no-show mesh. And then we are going to hoop our tote. I am working in a nine and a half by 14 inch hoop, which is really, really tight. <laughs> so I'm going to need to pull that down so that I am somewhere close to center. I do have the center markings here, I'm getting it as close as possible to the center of my hoop. And I do want to make sure that I use my center markings. So I've got my notches here and here. It doesn't have to be exact because we do have that snowman sticker in there. That's what he's all about is helping with alignment, but we do want to get it as close as possible. Once we have that locked into place, you're going to walk around the hoop and try to get that locked in all the way around. Should have done this before I started the video, but that would have been planning ahead. <laughs> And why would I do that? So I'm gonna pop that back out up here. And get that nice and taut in there. Because of course, if I'm not nice and tight, we're gonna get puckers, right? We don't want those. So we've got our snowman as centered as possible. And we have our tote into that hoop. and then you need to hit embroidery so you get to the embroider screen. You do have a camera feature on the previous page. However, that is not what we're looking for. We need to be in the embroidery screen and then hit layout because what we're looking for is that snowman piece. So here's that snowman sticker. When we tap that, it's going to basically, if you had been messing with it from a rotation position, it will come back to its original. We tell it okay and you get up this screen. We don't want you to tap anything. We want it to be looking at the center, which is right where its default is. And we want to tell it to scan. The carriage is going to move. You want to make sure it has full clearance. Keep your girls out of the way. Keep the wall out of the way. Whatever is around it, you want to make sure that you have full clearance for your hoop to move. And it's going to literally scan through and look. And using that camera, it's going to look for that sticker that we placed at the beginning. Keep the camera out of the way. <laughs> uh, 
Once it finds it, it will tell you, you can see it literally on screen, and the machine does tell you to remove the embroidery positioning mark. This basically is, hey, don't stitch through that sticker, make sure you take it off before you start stitching. That's what this little guy right here means, and you literally would go over and remove the sticker off of your project. Once you have done that, you'll hit OK, and we literally would be ready to stitch at this point. We were pretty darn close to center, um, so it didn't move a whole lot. If you are a lot off, you will actually physically see a angle or a shift of your design. Or a message that says it can't fit. Or as Sarah is telling me, if you've done an extremely poor job of hooping, you will actually see um, a message on screen that says that it no longer fits in that hoop because it had to angle so much that your design no longer fits. I'm so sorry if that is where, where you're at. Um, let's hope that that's not what's going on for you at this point. So at this point, we are literally ready to stitch. And um, you would see, once we tap this, this is your first color. And we would start with stitching that pineapple.